it's Aja. It's summer vacation here in Korea. A lot of us are going on trips safely, you know, social distancing. But I thought I'd give you an option for a trip you can go on within Korea. In May, I went on a trip to a city called Dongyeong, which is kind of in the middle of nowhere. I wouldn't have probably thought to go here. But my friend has a friend who lives there. And thanks to that, I was able to see the beauty of this place. So I'm gonna share it with you guys. First things first, you have to take a bus there. You might take a train to a bus or a bus to a bus to a bus, but you're not getting the Tongyang without a bus unless you have a car. So got off the bus over there. Then we went through this little area where they hand sanitize you and, and check your temperature. And here we are at the Tongyang bus terminal. And it's a beautiful day! It was so... It was so gloomy and rainy when we got on the bus, but now it's beautiful. And the bus ride to this place was pretty chill. Like, it, it was long, but it was nice. You get a little nap in before you start the festivities. The first thing we did after we arrived, we checked into a guest house. This guest house was like pretty small, pretty plain, but we like it that way. Spend as less money as possible on just the place you sleep so that you can afford to spend more money on adventures. This is the view that we can see out the window of a guest house. Wow! This is beautimous. This place is so pretty. Isn't she lovely? Like this yacht. This yacht was the first and, in my opinion, the most exciting thing that we did when we went to Tongyang. Now, we didn't go alone. We actually went with, my, with Andrea's friend and her friend. So there were four of us total, but they don't want to be on camera. So I'm going to respect that and just show you guys the boat itself and the view. There was also a point where the sun went down and some feeding of the seagulls ensued. I am not into that, so I didn't really show it on camera because I wasn't participating. But just know that if you go on a little yacht ride, you might could feed some seagulls if that's what you're into. Birds are terrifying. Why is that what you're into? Anyways. <laughs> That was all that we had time to do on that day, except we also had dinner and drinks. But the next day, we went on another adventure. So on this day, we first ate at this Shabu Shabu restaurant. It was delicious. I highly recommend go get some Shabu. And after that, we went directly to a strawberry farm. So we've made it to a place called Maki Chan Dalgi. It's a strawberry farm. We're gonna pick strawberries and make them into a cake. The strawberry farm was nothing like what I expected it to be like. The strawberry farm wasn't outdoors. I don't know what what other people thought, but I thought that the strawberries would be growing outdoors. Turns out the best way for strawberries to grow is indoors, inside this shaded facility. But before we actually picked the strawberries, we were entertained. We got to spend some time with the owner herself and also look around this shop.
she even made us these delicious strawberry smoothies. They taste great. I actually have been known to say that I don't like strawberries, but on this day, I loved strawberries. They were so good. Manhattan. 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 Yeah. <laughs> and then, after we picked some strawberries ourselves, put them in a basket, we went ahead and cut them and used them to decorate a cake. So this was like a really fun activity that you can do. You can decorate a cake with strawberries at the strawberry farm. Wow, Andrea, oh, look how great cool. you're doing. Uh, <laughs> and now you can see. <laughs> the owner of this strawberry farm was helping us every step of the way. So here's our cake, which I personally think looks amazing. Here is Andrea's friend's cake, which, you know, I mean, objectively it looks better, but I still think ours looks really darn good. You guys vote, which cake do you guys think looks best? Ours or Andrea's friend? Let us know in the comments. All right, so, after that, Andrea's friend actually needed to do her own thing. She was an amazing guide all the way to this part of the journey, and she dropped us off at this location. This was our cool cable car experience. You can take a cable car ride all the way up above the city and you can see everything. It's so beautiful. Once you get off at the top of this cable car ride, there's a bunch of stalls that you can shop, you can buy some souvenirs, or you can go on a hike up the, the farther up the mountain. Um, we started to go on this hike, but it was a bit much for me. I, I couldn't handle it. Andrea wanted to go on up, I did not, so we didn't. Um, and I appreciate that because it was going to be a really long hike. But that brings us to the end of this trip. Sky Luge was the last thing we did before dinner. We had another really delicious dinner and then we went back um, to our guest house for one more night's sleep and checked out in the morning. So this was our adventure in Tongyang which I had a really great time. I highly recommend it. If you want to go on an adventure, if you want to see something that you can't see just everywhere in Korea, you should visit the city of Dongyang. And uh, that's all I got for you today. So bye.